Our next presenter will be Avital Oliver, who is a core dev at Meteor. Right, hi everyone, thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Avital, some people call me Avi, I work here at Meteor. I'm um, talking about writing shell script with JavaScript and how it can actually be awesome. Um, please never use a bash. Uh, this is gonna be the story about me searching that we use bash. Um, if you write scripts with ES2015, the new version of JavaScript that Meteor 1.2 uh, lets you write with natively, uh, and you add fibers to get synchronous APIs, then it's just the best thing ever. And I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean by this. Uh, a true story. Uh, we here at Meteor, we built a bunch of React packages lately, and we need to write a script to let us publish a bunch of packages together. Um, but some packages depend on other packages, and when one package changes, you have to also publish the packages that depend on that package. So we had directory with a bunch of packages, we have to kind of figure out what has changed. Uh, the script needs to do a little bit more. It needs to check for uncommitted files, merge Git branches, um, ask for new version numbers, like what do you want the new version for this package to be, and update the package JS files across all the packages that need to be published. Um, so I said, yeah, we can do this easily with Bash. It's just a bunch of uh, regular expressions, right? Uh, I, I luckily found this nice description. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's about as easy as childbirth. Um, so one of the gems in our long bash script of version one was inside it we had to just take a list of directories and turn the, sorry take a list of files turn them into a list of directories. We ended up choosing to use Ruby inside Bash um, because it was just the easiest way to do it, and uh, we used this I guess feature where you can use a Bash variable inside your Ruby. It was quite an interesting uh, thing. So. Uh, Sashka wanted us to use Ruby, but uh, not everybody in the company felt comfortable with Ruby, but of course we all do feel comfortable with JavaScript, right? Because we all write JavaScript, that's what we do here. So why didn't we just use JavaScript to begin with? Well, there are actually a few reasons you probably don't want to use JavaScript kind of like as is to build your shell scripts. Um, first of all, callbacks. Uh, you have to nest the callbacks or use promises or other kind of technologies. Even if you use promises or other libraries to help you, you still have to do manual error handling and check like if the error is this. And if you forget to check errors in your callbacks, you might have errors and your program will continue running or hanging. You won't even know about them. You really want exceptions just like you do. Like if there's a failure, just stop and be able to catch it. Uh, fibers in Meteor, uh, sorry, fibers in JavaScript uh, that Meteor enables by default gives you exactly that. Uh, the easiest way in a regular node app to get that is use this library called sync. You just run npm install sync in any node app. Uh, and then you could do stuff like this. So this is kind of long, I won't explain it all, but the important part is um, I took this part of node read line that lets you uh, ask the user for input and then get the result. But instead, there's now a new function called prompt sync that just returns the answer, as opposed to a node where you pass it a function, then that function gets called. So then when you use prompt sync, it's really easy. You just call prompt sync, you pass it a string, and get the result back. Uh, which is what you'd get in like Python, Ruby, or any other actual language in the world. Uh, a few other things that you don't get in JavaScript as is, is you can't do string interpolation or multi-line strings. You have to do like close quote plus, close quote. Well, with ES2015, which is the new version of JavaScript, some people call this ES5, sorry, ES6, um, you just get it. So you can do stuff like this. You can write prompt sync, that's the function I declared just earlier, uh, package this, was that version, this and that, what should the new version be? Uh, if you still want to, you can still call out to bash. Like if you want to use grep or something, it just fits the job, you can use xx sync and just call the function, get the result, and then parse the result in JavaScript where you actually have you know, programming. Um, so just to summarize, ES2015 is really, really cool. Uh, this is a quick example by my coworker Ben Newman showing um, how it took an original JavaScript file with regular JavaScript, or ES20, whatever, 1999, and turned it into ES2015. It's that much shorter and more uh, clear. Uh, and shell scripting with ES2015 and Fibers is really awesome, and I think it's just the best way to write shell scripts these days. Um, in Node, if people care how we wrote this actual script in Node, this is in uh, the React Packages project under Scripts Published Packages. It's a little annoying to set up in Node. In Meteor, you just get it out of the box. So you just start using Meteor and you have ES2015 available immediately. Um, for those that don't know ES2015, um, we're going to have some blog posts about that. So that's probably going to be the easiest way to learn ES2015. That's what I got. This is the link if somebody cares about uh, how we wrote this in Node. Any questions? Yeah. Have you thought of using a task runner like Lower or doing this kind of build scripts? 
The question was, have I thought of running it using a task runner like Gulp for writing build scripts? I'm not sure what Gulp would add to this. Like, it's not that the problem was parsing the command pr the command art line arguments. It was just writing the code. Handling error conditions much better by typing I would rather just write the error handling. I guess I mean, maybe I'm not sure exactly what the alternative would be, but this seems it was so straightforward. I don't see what could have been easier with using something else. Anything else? Yeah. Hi. The question, did I use Meteor to run these scripts? Yeah. It, it was not Meteor, no. Meteor is not the best tool for command line scripts, at least not at the moment, so we just used Node. It was actually annoying. The part of hooking up ES-115, I was like, I can't believe I have to do this. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, everybody. Yes. Thanks.